Hello guys and welcome on my YouTube channel Finnavi. Today we will talk about the company Honda Motor from Japan. So at first here the overview of the topics and a short disclaimer. Please be aware I'm only talking here about my own opinion. So investing can be very risky. That means you should always do your own research because during investing you can also lose your whole money. Okay, so let's talk about the business model. So Honda Motor, it's the classical automobile manufacturer. So they produce different cars, SUVs or trucks. And they also focus on reliability and fuel efficiency. Uh, within the motorcycle production, they are a global leader. And they are also dominant in different regions. Um, yeah, they also offer engines, generators, or marine products. Yeah, in the electric vehicle, they are currently investing very much. And so in the sectors of the electric and hybrid vehicles. Um, yeah, they also have global presence. So like Japan, North America, or Asia. And when we have a look at the financials we can see here that between three and five percent there is the net uh the profit on sales um the net assets are almost the total debt but the total debt is a bit bigger um yeah the shares outstanding they get a bit lower every year uh, regarding the P ratio, um, so it's between eight and nine approximately, uh, re relatively constant. Um, yeah, so interesting financials here. And now we have a look at the dividend. So we have here the dividend in yen. Um, yeah, so I would say here. Some years it goes quite up, then it goes down. So 2012 it was 60 yen and then it go down to 25. And then, yeah, some years it also got raised up a bit and then it decreased again. So um, it's not that stable, but that is clear. So um, maybe then in some years there was the recession and these things. So in the car manufacture industry sometimes the years are better and then the years are bad so yeah uh, but now we move on to the risk so we have here the electric vehicle transition so you can lose many market shares because other do better ev cars then also the supply chain that they are something with the semiconductors could not be delivered on time also currency fluctuations so foreign exchange risk like the yen to usd or something like that uh, also competition like other brands toyota volkswagen um, tesla byd so there are so many competitors out there also environmental regulations so um, that the emissions um, have to be lower in these things. So you have to invest more in research and development to um, to be within the limits, you know. And when we have a look at the chances, so the electric vehicles, they are also a chance, like for the growth, then also like sustainable technologies, so invest in the hydrogen fuel cells and hybrid systems. Um, also emerging markets, Southeast Asia, India. Then also autonomous driving, so um, doing more research and development there. Um, yeah, and also some partnerships with General Motors to share some EV platforms and um, develop new technologies. 
Okay, so now we heard plenty of things, but what about my own opinion? So, uh, yes, they have a very diversified product portfolio, like for vehicles or motorcycles. And the debt is also not too high. They are investing <clears throat> plenty much of things in the research and development. So also with their global presence, I would say it's definitely worth for more detailed analysis um, to find out what is the potential of that company. But well, I think here now I'm at the end. So thanks for watching. Yeah, please like and sub to my channel and write into the comments. What do you think about Honda Motors or do you like other competitors more? Um, or the car manufacturing industry, just write it down in the comments. I would be happy to discuss there with you. So I wish you a really nice day and I will see you with the next analysis. Bye.